can't. No, oh my god. Oh. Oh. Cloud it. Is this Smash 4 taking on? No! Go back! <laughs> yes, they went random. And they got Cloud Bayo. This is. So. So we got Tweak Salem here at Evo 2018. Uh. Pokemon Stadium not even in this game. Uh. <laughs> Uh, anyways, so uh, if there were going to be two uh, players in Dayton Smash that would do this, it would be Potsy and Cam. Ooh. Cobra Chain having fun with that C stick there. Oh, bats within two times, but get SDs because of it. I don't know if Cam really knows Bale, but he, but he he's doing stuff. I mean. I just feel like Cloud, like if you haven't played either character, Cloud is definitely easier to grasp than Bayo. Bayo being very obtuse in her gameplay. But hey, Cobra Chain finding a uh, laggy landing down air there with the back air, gonna take that stock. Yep. Okay, just zoning. Bayo being unable to do the kick part of heel slide if it hits our shield. Uh, oh yeah. Really good punish there. Completely optimal and has a limit. But of, of course you can just camp for the 12 seconds if you really wanted to. But Cam seeming like he's not gonna have to do that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Cam definitely isn't very familiar with doing the bail ladders. Just settling for simpler kill options with like stray aerials and just doing his fundamental stuff. Like we said before, a very strong fundamentals player. I feel like Cam might be uh, Hopeful enough that he'll get a character that he's actually really comfortable with because that's like 80% of the cast. He just happened to land in that unlucky 20% for this game. But, oh no. Top 10 reverse edge guards. So, uh, Potsy's Cloud taking <laughs> game one. Not a sentence I thought I would ever say. Yep. Okay, we're going to Smashville. Definitely probably going to see... Yep, okay. But Cam sticking it out. Inkling. And... I, I feel like... Uh, Cam will have an idea on... No, that's the wrong character. Yeah, change that. But uh, I feel like Cam will have an idea with how to play Roy. It's just in your face, which he loves to do. Just pressing aerials, you know. No, he went random again. Cobra did. Yeah, but yeah. On Potsy's actual main this time. Ooh, great, great air pressure. He threw out some high aerials. To like condition them to like stay to the ground and then just hitting them with an F smash there. Yeah, it's honestly overchange Roy looking kind of clean. Then some nice F smashes, just being ferocious in his face, pressing buttons, nose jab combos. He's doing it all. I like the idea there from Cobra, hoping the Potsy would just press a button and roll, but that's, yeah, that's a dead roll. Ooh, okay. 
Oxy saying, I'm not out of it yet. I'm one of the best players in Dayton. Don't try to count me out now. Landing a Roy down smash sweet spot is not something you see very often. Ooh. Yeah. Roy uh, forward smash actually hitting Inkling at ledge height. Roy forward smash can actually two frame sweet spot. Okay. Making it back this time, the air dodge is not going to kill him like last stock, but that forward air is going to take it there. Oh, really? Actually making it back. Ah, uh, but yeah, that one's going to take it. He was a little too low on that one. Yeah, but Potsy taking that last stock clean, not taking a single percent, not letting him get any extra credit on him. I feel like this matchup... I, I don't know how to feel about this. Roy, I feel like, might actually do really good against Inkling. Because Inkling won't be able to set up his stuff and just poke with aerials as well. Contest with the range and stuff. Of course he gets edge guarded like crazy, but... I, I feel like it's definitely a very volatile matchup. Like... Like, Roy either gets his stuff started or he just doesn't and gets edge guarded. Ooh. Not necessarily an optimal punish on that uh, whiff counter there, but. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, that was tight. Cam having the, the gall of the cojones to go random two games in a row. He may have lost the match, but he won.